everybody, this is not a spring chicken. You notice? Well, actually, you notice I'm wearing more than just a swimsuit. I'm wearing yes, a Christmas tree skirt. Yes, we're getting ready for Christmas is the live stream Christmas special. And, of course, that's why I'm wearing this. All in anticipation to get ready. I know, it sounds kind of crazy. We have a million things to do, including bringing an old camp. Oh, oh, wait a minute. There's a debate tonight, isn't there? Oh, this is, well as of right now, the last of the presidential debates between President Obama and Mitt Romney. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. I know. This time, because it's news for great for Obama, Rex doesn't have to hold his ears. Huh? Okay. The, um, the, um, the reviews are in. Ova Obama slaughtered Mitt Romney you know, in the debate to... Oh, Wait a minute, the debate hasn't even happened yet. Don't say that to him. Oh. Because the reviews have already been written, and he knows that Obama won hand heartily because Obama got bin Laden, and an Al-Qaeda's on, well, no, Al-Qaeda. If Al-Qaeda's not on, maybe they didn't get in bin Laden after all. Mm -hmm. No. And cat leads owner to discovery of ancient Roman ruins. How about that stupid cat going out playing a cat and finds... How do you not find ruins today? Because it's not like they're buried. In order to find a cat to find it, it had to be a you know thing that shows you how much of the earth really is not checked out yet. Because in England, where they've basically been everywhere, they found Roman ruins that nobody on a property that nobody had ever gone to that section of the property before. And I have to go see a man about a dog, a guy to 1920s slang. I know, and now. Um, basically, what that means is you got they're 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 back to using things that I was using when I was a kid because that really seems neat. Instead of saying I got to go to the John, I got to go see a man about a dog. Is that what that means? Yeah. Oh, and <laughs> three bank failures bring the U.S. 2012 total to 46. Yeah, and there's going to be more before Obama is gone because the new laws make it harder for the banks to do. Okay. Why banks are making profits? They're not loaning money, they're doing business with one another. All they're doing is shifting one money from one bank to another bank to another bank, and they're making tons of money shifting it back and forth. But under Obama's rules, no bank can loan money to anybody unless the person can prove that he does not need the money, which actually, for what people understand is... That's what they used to do. That's what they used to do. If you could prove you didn't need it, you could get all the money you wanted. And if you needed it, you didn't need to get the money, which is why banks didn't make as much money. Ah, well, see, part of it is is the reason why we're having so many problems is people got a houses that had jobs at McDonald's. No, we're not talking about the managers. We're talking about yeah the people that we're were talking about people minimal wage. Uh, uh, you know, cleaning personnel at McDonald's living in Brentwood because they were allowed to buy houses because they they they, they okay. The way it worked was the Democrats are the ones that set this in motion, folks. Uh, so they wanted people that basically couldn't afford something to get into it and then they would balloon payment at the end. The problem was is when they uh, when the Democrats decided to go after petroleum companies they caused the price of gas to go so high that the people had to make a decision. Do we pay for the gas to keep working or pay for the homes? Mm -hmm. And when they did when they decided not to pay for the homes they then called in the loan and they didn't have the money to pay for it. So the way it works is in housing what you don't know doesn't hurt you. And as long as you don't know the person can't pay the place off, you, they're in good business. They're in good shape as far as you're concerned. And catch the Ryan ID meteor shower this weekend. Yeah, and we missed it because of the bad weather. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Because, well, because it's all overcast. I mean, it's overcast right now again. And GOP pounces after news of CIA cable on Libya raid. I know. Um, basically... Well, you can't let, and this is Obama supporters, you have to let the, let the intelligence people finish their investigation, and then we'll, then we'll hold your investigations. And then the guy said, when is the, uh, well, I don't know, I say, said, when is the invest, well, it won't be until sometime in late Jan in late November. They said, after the election, well, that, that's just the way the timetable works. They said, no, we have the evidence right now. So we're going to let everybody see the evidence that the president is trying to suppress. So, mm -hmm. an end of the line for returnable Coca-Cola bottle. I know we we actually 
uh, we, you know, what happens is in Las Vegas, they have a Coca-Cola place that nobody returns the bottles. They buy the bottle and then walk out with it as a souvenir, so. And Google and Industries in defining fight with Apple, Schmidt says. Yeah, but, okay, this is the problem. Apple is not as big as Google. Apple is not as big as Microsoft. Apple is not as big as Samsung. Apple is not as big as any of the companies that they're taking on and they're taking them all on. It's a loose position for, okay, the, the way it works is if Stephen Jobs was there, Stephen Jobs would have picked his battles, not go against everybody. It the, sounds like a, a monster problem. Well, because what it is is that Apple is a one-trick pony. I mean, uh, the people that buy Apple computers always will buy Apple computers, especially sound engineers, because it's really good to work with, or video editors. But other than that, no one buys an Apple computer. Apple PCs are limited because they don't like Adobe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, and then their cell phones, the new cell phone they put out, everybody hates because it's not backwards compatible with anything they already have. And Amazon gets FCC's okay to sell Kindle file 4G tablets. I know, that's ridiculous. I would have thought they'd have got the permission before they started selling the thing. I don't, yeah, I, don't I mean, understand. first of all, it's not a tablet, folks. It's nothing but an e-reader that you can look at videos and pictures on. So why did they have to get the FCC okay to sell 4G uh, Because tablet? they're calling it a tablet. It's not a tablet. It is a big, oh. it's a more sophisticated e-reader. I mean, I wouldn't spend my money, oh, okay. But put it this way, not a strange chick has got, I mean, got it, she's sitting looking at a thing that's just a little bit bigger than the Apple tablet, and it does more. Well, that's a hard, it's like, I love my tablet, but the hard part is I use it mainly for navigation. Yeah, <laughs> which you could use your cell phone for. Yeah, and the hard part is, is as much as I love my tablet and it just has a bigger screen, there's many things that, let's just say, I would like to do and I just end up going to a computer. That's right. This thing has got eight gigabytes of memory on it, of RAM, and um, and three hundred and sixty gigabytes of internal memory, and it will do it. Play, it does everything in the world you want. You can get apps for it too. And this life makes online photo storage and organization a breeze. Not as far as I've been able to figure. I can't figure out this use life. It. It's another one of these uh, social media things that's getting started up. It doesn't work. And U.S. deficit tops one trillion for the fourth year. Yeah, but oh, you know, but George Bush was responsible. No, Obama is spending this money, and they say, well, it's because of the Bush tax cuts. No, it's because of okay. Here is one: the people on the deficit committee are listening to them this morning. How do you bring the deficit under control? It's called, you stop spending. I said, if you do nothing more than return the level of spending back to when Obama took over, the deficit controls itself in 10 years. Ooh. Could Terry uh, with us? Mm -hmm. becomes the first American oh, Indian. Oh, I know. Team. That's uh, basically, uh, this is, okay, they're really lowering standard for state sainthood. She, 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 they proved she, she, uh, cured somebody of a bacterial virus. What? Which means the kid got healthy by themselves because it wore, it just simply it burned itself out. Are you serious? Oh, it's, it's, they wanted an Indian saint, so they, that was the closest that they could get because most of the Indians did not belong to the Catholic religion. Oh, okay, here's the reason why. I did a movie called Run of the Arrow with Charles Brodsky, which is Charles Bronson, Ralph Meager, and Rod Steiger. Rod Steiger wanted to become a member of the Indian tribe, but he couldn't change his religion to do it. And Charles Brodsky, was Charles Bronson now, said, okay, uh, do you believe in the one God? And they said, yes. Do you believe in the white painted lady? And he said, you mean the Virgin Mary? And he said, the white painted lady? And he said, yes. And he said, same religion, just different name. Mm -hmm. so, and 5.3 magnitude quake aftershocks rattle California. I know, I, was, I really felt that last night. I mean... Did you? No. Nobody oh, did. I was going to say, I didn't even know. It didn't know. rattle anything. That, they don't even pay attention to 5.3s in Southern California. <laughs> and Obama says sailors on seas Argentine ship free to leave. Morgana says. Yeah, well, they've been they've been prisoners for two years. Okay. I'm for two explain, years? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to explain something. Okay, it, Rex worships the ground the president walks on, but he actually is smart. He knows you can't take over a super tanker that is three football fields in length and 50 stories in the air unless somebody on board the ship tosses you 
a ladder overboard. So when they take one of those things, it's the crew member, it's an insurance scam, folks. And did Bigfoot vandalize a man's RV? Bigfoot. I, I firmly believe. <laughs> I like that okay, one. I think a lot of people are known for a long, think for a long time. They said it's just nothing but a different breed of grizzly bear. And if when they're over on their sides, nobody pays any attention. But when they stand up, because they're huge, then they look like they, it's more a human-looking form of grizzly than they've actually got in captivity. So. Oh, so that could be the the story behind big. big uh, yeah, that's the story what one, behind Bigfoot. That's what one of them said. It's just a, just a grizzly that w when he stands on his hind legs looks more like a like a gorilla than he does a, uh, than than uh, than a grizzly. So. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the animal industry. Okay, that when you're on a roll, never break the roll because it's always harder to get back on the roll again than it would have been if you had just kept doing it. 